Wild Eye Reactions. Hello, welcome to another month of Wild Eye Reactions. We're getting close and personal here, me and Richard. Well, we're recording this when there was a uh, snow emergency. A uh, big snow and ice storm came through. So big it went from down here, way up there on the weather map. I mean, it's, it's countrywide. Yeah, we were going to have five people here watching this movie. Uh, instead, it's just going to be Richard and I. Uh, Melanie is still off on maternity leave because uh, we don't think she should be exposing a baby to some of these movies we watched, especially last month's movie. I have no life. But we let Richard pick the movie this time. And he picked Creeps. Lord, what have I done? Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I haven't seen a trailer for it. I don't know much about it, except for what I just looked up for, you know, on um, IMDb. I was watching it. It took a while to find it. Uh, does it even have a budget? Estimated budget of $400. What? Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Now that doesn't mean a movie's bad. It's not a good sign. Well, take uh, Sodomaniac. Remember Sodomaniac? Yeah, all the money went into the butt mask. The no, uh, the uh, no, <laughs> no. The the money, the six hundred dollar oh, okay. budget they had went into the dildo of doom. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so creeps. A Tale of Murder and Mayhem. So, Richard, if this is bad, if this is another Absolute Zombies, we're blaming you. There cannot be another Absolute Zombies. That was an anomaly. It was a horrible horror movie. It was horrible. Yeah. I don't even know if I'd go with a horror movie, though. I, I don't even know if I'd go with movie. Movie might be too generous. It was a horrible example of what a video game adaption would be. I am Bob. This is Richard. And fourth Saturday of every month, we do Wild Eye Reactions, where we react to the best and the worst of Wild Eye releasing. Sometimes we find hidden gems, and sometimes we love these movies so much Caesar and Otto, Neon Dead, yep. um, Disco Exorcist. That was a good one. All these are great movies. Didn't they have Badass Monster Killer? Badass Monster Killer. Oh, yes, that was a good that one. That was a good one. And then there was... Uh, then they hurt us. Again. Then one there are movies time. that hurt us. Yes. Absolute Zombies last week was one of those. Sh Showgirls 2 was one of those. That was the longest two hours of my life. It took three days and 45 minutes. I think it more, took more like two and a half months. Which is this going to be? Is this going to be something delightful and fun like uh, the Caesar and Otto movies? Is this going to be painful? Or is it going to be something kind of in between, like the uh, Polonia Brothers? Polonia Brothers Entertainment, you know, the movies we get from them, they're the ones who do uh, Jurassic Prey, Raiders of the Lost Shark, um, Bigfoot vs. Zombies. You know, sometimes they're not great, but, but at least entertaining. But at least they're entertaining. So, all right. Again, thank you, Wild Eye, for what we're about to receive. Regardless of how much it might hurt. Regardless of how much it might hurt. <laughs> we do this for your entertainment every month. If you want to comment down below, you know, let us know how much us doing this means to you. See, let us know if there's any of the movies that we've done that you've been like, ooh, I need to get that. Um, let us know what you think of Creeps. Yeah, let us know what you think that this turns out to be. Uh, if you want to you know, support us on Patreon, go for it. I think they'll click the link in, down below in the, the doodly-doo. 
Boy, well, we just jumped right in. No preamble, no anything. Just poop. There we go. Guy in a red ski mask. In a limp. Yeah, you're not. Uh... Oh fuck! Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, at least it's not CGI. Oh my god. There's merely a flesh wound. Oh my god. It's just a flesh wound. Uh, uh, caught between a rock and a flat shovel. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. That might be bad, but that was funny. Jack Malvinerdy. Uh, I know who you go. We know who to blame because it's directed by Jack Mulvinerty. And, and it's written like, by Jack Mulvinerty. And it was starring him too. And it stars Jack Mulvinerty. <laughs> See, there he is. Yeah. Dante. Dante Scaglione. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him credit. Okay, it's a nice cinematic look. It's got a good look to it. Does it? Yeah, it's uh, they're, 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 for their they, budget. Uh, yeah, yeah for their budget, I'll, I'll give them some credit. Oh, isn't that where Frodo so, hid? Uh, Four hundred dollars is not a budget. I spend more than that at comic book stores. Wow, you also did the music too. Well, that's that's pretty bad. Now, now, the practical effects are fine, but that's oh, that's a store decoration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, are you supposed yeah. to be here today? That's understandable. Okay, you guys' audio is bad. You guys really should have re-recorded the audio. Yeah, or turn the music down. Yeah, really. Holy shit. Oh, no, I didn't hear about that. Hey, do you know, do you know who it was that died? Oh, yeah. Okay, some pretend, kid pretend to look at the records. Shit, I know that. Don't Not look the at the camera. Yeah, the guy, Stop yeah, looking at me. I want to shop there. I want to visit oh. Darren's shop. The hell is this stuff? It's blood, you idiot! It even tastes like real blood. Man, it's... You really want to How do you know what real blood tastes like? Right, let's go. Uh, what kind of life have you led, child? Oh, dude. So, like. I wonder where the light source for this is. Maybe the. Oh, oh guys, come on. Disguise your cut. And fix your audio. Well, fix yeah, the audio is bad. The yeah, music is good. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, you're wearing his foot down. It's good work. Just uh, just keep working away at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you may down. not be hurting his body, but you're hurting his soul on his shoe. <coughs> okay, maybe Scuzz isn't a villain. I'm starting to think he might be the hero. <laughs> Because these guys are idiots. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the big boy gets on the He store, looked at the camera. And, yeah. Okay, drink whenever they look at the camera. I really hope the freaking knucklehead gets what he does. Who the hell would live there? Alright. Oh. Let's, let's just say, this is a bad movie. Better than Absolute Zombies at this point, though. It is a bad movie. I mean, at least it's clear. Well, that, that's what Bro was getting at earlier. It's, it, it's clear. They, they have a good camera. Uh, that's a cool looking decoration. Oh, oh my god. Hey. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> okay. Ah, All right. Oh, Alright, what was that? Acid, probably. Yeah, he just yeah. tapped and be carried him. Uh, yeah, the blood is squirting from and, off camera. And the mask is not. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and $400. $400. $400. $400. Keep that in mind. They made this movie for $400. It, it's hard to do a good mask for $400. Please, let's tell you, spooked. Although, again, I can and eat that somebody. Was not one. 
Uh, Guys, don't jump cut within the same scene like that. It's jarring! You're not hiding the the problems. You're accentuating them. And the light changes. Yeah. If you're going to do that, film a different angle so at least you can cut to the different angles. You have another friend who does no movies no, 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 on no budget, Captain, and he about, doesn't make these mistakes. Kind of cheap, make it so, and, uh, you know, to him I say, Josh, nice. props, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, no, these, these chicks make really good dinner. Although I do like their shirts. Good good job on the uh, costuming no, there. I picked this movie because it had the simplest title. I didn't know. And for those of you that are watching this um, with us, my apologies. Did he just Fuck? wake up outside? It's a dream! I don't know how I got here. I don't know what you want, but please, can you just get my hand okay. out of here? Since we don't know. No, that's not Jack. Unless it is a dream. He's going to wake up from having his. I know they said, give him a hand. I knew that was going to happen. Away. Oops, sorry, my bad. You know who this is reminding me of? It was all just a nightmare. Tell me. Oh, the God. movies of David the Rock Nelson. Oh, another reference. Cool. Oh, of course. Oh. Guys, four little tea lights is not enough to light your set. Yeah, you have night vision with that big camera. Life. It's like this film was shot I by high school seniors as part by of their class project. I want to do something tomorrow. Down to go on a little field trip. You're giving yeah, them really seniors? Going. Yeah, man, we're just going up to the woods about two miles away. I was going to go with sophomores. Up, look around. Well, the humor is sophomore. Got something planned, but I'll tell you when we get there tomorrow. Oh, right, we're going someplace. We don't know where we're going until tomorrow. Okay. Oh, yeah, good choices on shirts, right, man. though. Well, take it easy. I think that's just cause the kids hey, had a good choice. Oh. I gotta tell you something. Okay. Death lives in those Is he dreaming again? I guess so. And another stupid life decision. All right, so. Here's so comparing this to Michael Butt's movies. Michael gets better actors. Which is saying something. Michael could learn a thing or two. Oh, right. Michael might need we'll to get their camera because the movie is not that impressive, but it's sharp, it's clear, the picture is nice. Actually, he uh, did get a new uh, camera for his latest movies. So that's good. That's good. That's a good choice, Michael. Looking forward to seeing it. Uh, audible? Yeah. Now you get getting Okay, fine. You're in a chase scene. You do not have slow, suspenseful music. Yeah, I'm okay with this music. This music is, is it's, fun. They, they have to beat a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of reminiscent a little bit of the original Halloween. And that would be the only time we'd do a compliment about Halloween no, about this movie. No, no. Yeah, he's dead. Now, we always give Benefit of the Doubt as fact they made a movie. I was just going to say, God bless you kids for making a movie. Nice. You know? But I'm going to steal a quote from Jurassic Park. And I know that he can guarantee that he can tell you the quote that I'm going to give you. Oh, really? Yes. Sometimes is, is we get it, so caught up in what we can do, we don't think about whether we should. Oh, darn. I thought you were going to say that's a whole big pile of crap. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, your friend's head has been smashed into an in, uh, in. Do you want some acting? You can't see it. It's gone. It's, it's pink mist. <coughs> it was a pink mist kill. Oh, God, we've got a. Oh, that's going to be about to focus in. Focus! It. Yep, I know we set camera. the bar really low with absolute zombies, but this movie is only clearing the absolute zombies bar 
by a couple inches. Yeah, but that's all it really needed to do. Yeah, it's still better than Natural Zombies. Yeah. Now, if we were watching this after Neon Dead... Oh, kill it. Yeah. We would be like, burn this movie with fire. Holocaust but, cannibals? Burns it here. What? Uh, look at all these. But because we're watching this movie after the month we did Absolute Zombies... It's looking good by comparison. Yeah, we're like, okay. Uh, it's another dream sequence. It's another dream within a dream sequence. Yeah, they're, they're loving He's going to be reaching in and pulling, yep, yeah, pulling something out of his body. Okay, right there, that's ridiculous, guys. You have to find a way to do the blood spray better. I'm going to tell you about the people that killed Johnny. This is the story of two boys. Quit looking at the camera. My friend Joshua did it. You ever been in a sauna with a chain smoker? Well, you ever been in a Turkish prison? You ever been in a movie? It's gonna get really hot. I'm wondering so, why they made this movie. Did they think it was gonna be fun, or were they blackmailed? first. So there is a plot, it's just convoluted for such a short, short movie. Quit looking at the camera! <laughs> Alright, well, I'll give them credit, I'll give them credit on this. You know, they tried to make it look like a hand. <laughs> and failed. <laughs> but they tried! Well, at least it doesn't just look like a glove. No matter how bad this movie is, I'd still be ra rather watching this than Absolute Zombies. Again, at least it was a little more entertaining than last month. It didn't need to be a lot. Your wrist doesn't bend like that. That was a hand. <coughs> you lose the hand. You know, that's terrible to even do that. Uh, well, this is what it looks like when you lose the hand. Like that. You don't go like that. Because your wrist doesn't bend that way, dumbass. It only had to be a little bit better than Absolute Zombies, and it succeeded at that. It was only a little bit better. So, yeah, yeah, the, that movie wasn't great. We only have one person to blame for it, though. His name is all over the credits. No, you. You picked it. If there's a Creeps 3, Richard wants to be in it, apparently. He'll bring up the, the acting ability. I couldn't bring it down. He won't look at the camera as much. We watch the best and the worst from Wild Eye releasing. This month it certainly <laughs> wasn't one of the best. It was best and most certainly was more the latter than the former. Richard and I are uh, some of the stars of Midnight Monster Movies with Dr. Bob. Check us out, www.midnightmonstermovies.com. Or like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, please, write below, thumbs up, whatever, if you watch this here with us. Because we need to know we're not alone. We need to know that... Yeah, just because we're snowed in and it's just me and Richard here watching this. 
that there's more people out there. Let us know. Also, we do a show every Friday in Alt Space VR on virtual reality. And when this airs, we will be starting a... Oh, do tell, do tell. Well, it's going to be a movie from Josh Kennedy in VR. Uh, every Friday, 10.30 Eastern Time. I'm not sure what the Josh Kennedy movie will be. It might be Return of Sherlock Holmes. So, uh, we, we do that every, every Friday, 10.30, Alt Space VR. You do not need VR goggles to watch it because you can just... Uh, do it on a 2D client, such as on your computer or on a cell phone. Yeah. Also, we do a monthly show for Midnight Monster Moves, Dr. Bob. Right now, we are on the off-season, but <laughs> we are still doing movies for the fan club that they can watch streaming uh, on the first Saturday of every month. And the first Saturday of... Uh, this coming up here will be a mystery black exploitation movie. <laughs> uh, the mind boggles at how bad or good it could be. Yep, yep. So uh, remember, only people who are part of the fan club and have the password get to see that. Yes. Listen to see what uh, IMDb's rating is on this. It's if it's, if it's a two, it was too generous. 5.8 out of 10. Are you all insane? <laughs> Who would give this a 5? Fi 5 is average. Below 5 is under average. This... So, um, I take it you think that's a little high. That's higher than Willie Nelson after a concert. I also think that the movie did not deserve this rating. I do think the movie definitely should have been a lot lower on that. But let's give it our ratings, Richard. Why don't you give it your rating there? All that violence, it doesn't have an R rating. <clears throat> um, I am going to give it 162 jump cuts. And I'm going to give it... A balaclava. You know, the, the ski mask kind of thing. Oh. Fine. A ski mask. I'll give it a ski mask. Uncultured swine. I'm cultured. I'll give it a ski mask and a t-ball bat. Actually, no. No, I take that back. A ski mask and a wiffle ball bat. And 300 uh, looks to the camera. And I think he's being generous. I think it was more than that. I don't think they could add more than that if Jimmy Fallon was a member of cast. <laughs> if Jimmy Fallon was a member of cast, at least it would have had some humor. All right, everyone. Uh. We'll see you next month with a better movie. I'm just, I don't know what it's going to be, but we're just playing the odds. It's hey, going to be a better movie. I, I'm hoping that since it's February, it'll be a Valentine's theme, and maybe we'll have something good to look at. No offense, Jack, but... Mm. <laughs> yeah, there were no uh, female characters in this movie. They were lucky. They were so lucky. All right. Bye.